Hello and welcome back. This is the Prussian Prince back with this Heart Spine 3 Let's Play as Yugoslavia. So, it's just not looking too good right now. Getting attacked in the west, we're losing, and in the east, holding out for now, but I'm not sure for how much longer we can hold because. We don't have the massive amount of units that the Soviet Union has, or we don't have tanks, we don't have proper aircraft, we don't have uh, as many leaders as they have, and we don't have all of the just all their units. It's basically the best way to describe it, I guess. And I'm gonna send all the mountaineers here because have to abandon Turkey, Persia, Afghanistan, and India. This is going really bad there. Gonna what I'm hoping for right now is to hold over here. Well, Germany pushes them back out back into Spain and Portugal and then retakes those while I basically hold uh, hold here yeah and after they take back this I'm hoping that they'll go over here and help me and push into Soviet Union although that's maybe hoping for a bit too much but yeah playing as an Axis miner pretty much you're always gonna fail it seems because Germany keeps messing me, messing up your uh, plans. All right, here, here, here. I'm gonna need to redeploy it over there. I don't have leaders, that's the problem. I don't have any leaders that I could use, which means my troops are extremely ineffective right now, even though I have a lot of troops, not as, in, not as effective as they could have been. I should make a few extra divisions, because I can. I have 34 manpower, so that's quite a bit. Okay, and these attacks over here, not gonna go too, too well for them. They have 10 armor, but I have very little piercing attack. Oh, actually, no, this one, that one has good, good piercing attack, like really good piercing attack. I have to send in another unit there to assist, but yeah, overall, their uh, organization is dropping down that uh, unit. These guys have like only 5.5 armor, so they died really quickly. Oh, there's another attack going on over here, though. Same province that they were originally attacked in. We have more infantry divisions I can use to redeploy, like, let's say, back behind those lines. But yeah, the defense over here, it probably will fail now because of all the tanks they have sent in. But maybe if I get there quick enough. Oh, of course, there's an attack in Ternopol, but we have very, very high piercing attack, which means that the organization of their... Uh, Troops is going to drop down extremely fast, and there goes their strength, too. And we'll see how that actually goes, but yeah, they keep losing units. They keep, uh, I mean, lots of strength on their units. But they have lots of manpower, so does this matter? Look, they lost 9,000. It doesn't matter because they're Soviet Union. I'm Yugoslavia. I can't afford those losses as much as them. And they have pushed me back out of here. So what this means is I have to do some support attacks over all the way over here. We'll see how this goes for us. It seems like we are able to push them out. That's that's very good. This means I can uh, now focus on taking out uh, this single unit. Looks like I can with two of my units. That's nice because the piercing attack is so high that they're just goners. There they go, they're gone. Actually, they're not gone, because we're getting attacked. So now I'm gonna have to attack with this unit too. Ooh, this is not good at all. They, yeah, they're, they are finally, they've cracked me, basically, through here. They have found a weakness, especially because of lack of supplies. I don't know why we have this huge lack of supplies we're losing our men and I have to support quickly oh my we all of those guys they're out here I'm defending but is it enough though no it's not in the north it's it's all good I have like at least two provinces two divisions per province but it's not good enough here I do have a lot of units here but not all of them has have reinforced and a lot of them have very bad uh, Organization. Oh, and I've lost this battle. Okay, I didn't see that there were units, enemy units over there. So I won this battle, but I'm gonna go like this. And I'm gonna go basically like that. And like this as well. Constant units from the front line, though. 
to make sure I only need to use my cap. And I've lost this battle too. And a lot more partisans, like over here too and stuff. Okay, I'm gonna have to defend. I have a cap unit here, which I can send, and we'll see if that's gonna be enough. Probably not though. Yeah, they have they have cracked me, and once they crack me, it should be easy to exploit it with cab or something. Right now though, I have to attack and uh, synchronize the arrival. Not support attack, but rather just move order and synchronize arrival. Strange that it doesn't say it's attack though, but oh well. Here we go, I'm gonna move in. Is this enough though? I wonder, I don't think so, it's just... I don't have enough. I don't have enough to hold them back. In the north, yes. In the south and center, no. Look, I'm losing here. I need to send some units to reinforce, but I can't do anything here. I'm gonna have to hold in like Lvov. Here I'm gonna have to hold, I'm gonna have to pull back behind those rivers here. Hope for a miracle defense. Like right now, that's basically my hope. I have to get out of here, right, like right now. Strategic redeployment, and then the others, I'm just gonna do strategic redeployment over here. These guys over there, and all these guys, let's do like over here. We just have to do that, otherwise we're gonna lose. We're gonna lose, 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 lose. Now pulling back out of there. And of course, I'm gonna try and hold Shudder Row while I pull back, because I don't want to lose all those units. There we go, I'm pulling the hell out of there, <laughs> so to speak. I'm gonna attack all these guys back, like that. I have more divisions though, so one is gonna stay there while the others pull back. Of course, I have just these guys two here. Okay, go back guys, or hold over here. Terrain map mode, okay. It's right now. Can I defend this uh, river line? Like here, no, we're, I have to defend probably this river line. Yeah, this river line over there. Probably, yep. Or actually, yeah, yeah, that river line. Going all back, all the way over there. <laughs> Pulling back to that other province then. Pulling back to this province then. So not this river line, but the one even before that. That's our defense plan. Not the best defense plan, I suppose, but gonna have to do with uh, what we can do, right? Right, so more units on the way, more defenses. Wait, I sent the unit to the wrong way. Okay, these guys go to Zvolen, here to there and there, Yaroslav or something, whatever it's called. Pulling back all the way over there, I'm gonna defend in the vault then. This is just not good. <laughs> pull back, pull back, pull back, pull back. Has to be done. There's no other way. Hmm. I have to hold over here, but it's, it's a hard call to hold all the way back there. More strategic redeployments. No, this cabinet hasn't done its job. So now I'm hoping it is going to do its job. Oh, I don't have to defend all the way back there. Okay, I need to defend in Lvov though, I think. Yep, there we go. Lvov is an urban province. It will be hard to attack. It also has forts, so it's almost, almost perfect for defense. You could say, there we go. I'm Basically, I want to defend all everything over here. And I have those units that are getting pushed back and we might actually end up losing them but hmm, it would be bad if I lost them okay new infantry division I can use it to maybe strategically redeploy all the way over there yeah now it's gonna be still a hard hard front to defend against but we're using Lithuania and Latvia's meat shields right now essentially <laughs> and we're also gonna go all the way up to Danzig next yeah this is this is a hard, hard war. I just don't know what we can do, honestly. Like, how are we gonna hold here? We just don't have enough. And all those units that I have, I'm just sending them 
back, retreating them, and I still have... How many units do I have, actually? 589. It's still a significant amount of units that I have. I'm making even more infantry divisions. So I am hoping that I can do something at least. There we go. Those units probably are going to get outrun by... Outran by... Um, what is this uh, called? Armored units or something, just because they have like more speed than infantry. So we'll see if that's the case. Probably they will be and we'll lose them. Yep, that's actually exactly what happened. But it was not too avoidable. So I have two land units there. I'm gonna send slightly more. Okay, seven land units. There we go. Here we're gonna have more units that we're gonna have to send. The defense over here in the north is okay for now but for how much longer is it gonna be okay that's that's always the question for how much more time are we gonna be able to hold because we're not gonna be able to hold for forever we don't we just don't have that amount of units to be able to defend uh, forever and ever right so we have to keep splitting up the units that we have right now for defense hmm. we don't have so so many units in the north though and that's what's bothering me all the way up here we have like three provinces with only one unit that could be exploitable by the Germans not the Germans but the Soviets okay I'm gonna fix one of those issues and I'm gonna send in one more unit down there if I send that guy up there too, maybe another one with without the leader or something all the way up there. Maybe that will get the issue fixed. Of course, Germany wants to trade more and I'm going to accept. Why would I not accept? Here though, these will be quite easy to attack. And look, already they have pushed us back. Once they go past this uh, this line, it's gonna be really crazy for us. So they've already started the attack over here. This is not gonna go too well. We have 11 piercing attack on two units. It's just too much for them. Right, more AT brigades here. Yeah, I, I don't see them. Uh, I don't see our units holding for much longer. And in Yaroslav, look, we are holding bravely, almost alone, with with some Polish help against the. The Russians. This is just. This is just crazy how we can actually do this. <laughs> we have even more infantry divisions we can deploy. I'm gonna send this unit up there. We had this over here, and also this province. Three, three, five. Yeah. Actually, I'm gonna have to send it over there because that's not a river province. So it's going to be easier to attack by the Russians. It's probably where they're going to attack and see that they have the most chances of pushing through. And we have poor supply units. Oh, it's those guys. Oh, have they actually arrived? Yeah, a good number of them. Wow, so many of them have arrived too. Like, I can put at least one in each of those provinces. Yeah, I, I can do this. Well, defend for a while, that's what I mean. I can't win the war, for sure. That's, that's just out of the equation. There's no way we can win the war. And it's lagging so much right now, because it's on speed 5, obviously. But we can't attack, so it's not like we have to micro anything. Micromanage, that is, for those who don't know what micro is. Next year! Will be auto save. Hopefully, it doesn't crash by then. Hopefully, hopefully. Yay, no crash. So, what is next? Looks like uh, the Polish uh, units are still holding. The Poles? I can make even more units, but I don't want to do that. Okay, this division is up here, up here, up here. Do I need to send more units? Probably this is where I need to hold, yeah. So, five here. I'm gonna make this five there too. Yeah, defending in the mountains. That's crazy. Crazy good, and over rivers, but we can't do that. Look at France, it looks crazy, but UK is still pushing them back. 
because why would they not? And Italy is going to get taken. Interestingly enough, Eastern Front, we're going to hold it against the Soviet Union before we're going to hold it. And what's going to lose us the war? It's probably going to be Germany falling to UK troops. Yeah, that's probably what's going to happen. It's hilarious that the situation is like that, but that is how it is. And you can tell that at this point, we can't really win the war. Oh, of course, strangely enough, I haven't dealt with those uh, enemy units, enemy partisans. There's this funny special forces unit over there. And we still can't push them out. We can't do it. Actually, I don't even know if we're ever going to be able to do it, but hey. You can at least try, I guess, right? Doesn't hurt to try. Well, actually it kind of would. We'd be losing a lot of manpower if we tried to start an offensive and we only have 50 manpower. We can't really afford attacking. We have to just de defend right now. And probably for the rest of the game. Just defend against the Russians and reinforce where it's needed. It's basically our plan. In like two days, an extra unit we can use for defense. Yay. Alright, an extra land unit, I'm gonna send it up here, because that seems like a potential weakness in our line. But yeah, I think they're gonna have a fun time trying to see where the weakness is. If I were to say anything, it would be this province. Because they can attack us from two provinces, no, actually they can't, only from one province. But still it's a weakness for us. They, they could just try and play a, an attritional game and just attack this province only and until we lose a lot of manpower and they would still end up winning. Like they can do the craziest things and fail a lot and lose a lot of divisions and they'd still win. Anyway, that's enough for now guys and girls, so if you enjoyed, don't forget to comment, rate and subscribe, follow me on Facebook, Twitter and Google+. And I shall see you next time.